Hello everyone, and in today's video, we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different than our usual videos, as you've probably seen from the title. Uh, today we are just focusing on how much of an improvement will you get from using Extreme if you are on a stock Windows. That is really what all these tests are trying to get to, is how much of an improvement are you going to get. But the other videos were just uh, guiding you on which utility you should actually spend your money on. But this video is just going to be focusing on the stock windows versus extreme and this will basically be telling you how much more fps you're going to be getting and every other benefit that you get from tweaking your pc with extreme um uh th th that's about it uh nothing else to say let's go ahead and get on with this video and i'll showcase everything and show all the results here we have our extreme panel if you like to pause along this showcase and read all of our tweaks you can we have our windows optimizations here Network optimizations, this is for Ethernet only. People optimizations, GP optimizations, we have this for NVIDIA and Radeon GPUs. Extra optimizations, this is like the DQ size and specific priorities for games. If you'd like to buy this utility, you can buy it off of risentweaks.com. And if you would also like to save 15% off any product from this website, you can use code Hydra at checkout. As you see, you're gonna save about five bucks from Extreme. So let's go ahead and get on along with our test and we will see how much of an increase you get from using our extreme panel. The stock OS had a process count of 151 and after using Risen Extreme panel, uh, my process count went down to 58, giving Risen Tweaks a process count decrease about 90, actually 93. So I would say that is pretty good for gate processes, it is super good. Um, Let's go ahead and see our other improvements that we get from using the Risen Tweaks Extreme Panel. The Buffer Glow Score test on our stock OS received an F, and after Risen Tweaks Network Optimizations, we actually received a Buffer Glow Grade of an A+. You know, that is literally going from the very bottom to the very top, so that is super good. Very happy with that, and that's literally an insane increase of your internet latency for games. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and see our latency for after using the panel um but yeah this is very impressive for the latency test on our stock os our highest <clears throat> press latency was 167.10 with an average being 6.051 highest dpc latency was 165.5 with an average of 3.71 and then after using the risen tweaks extreme panel we get a process latency of 90, the highest process latency being 96.9, with an average of being 2.51. Our highest DPC latency was 95.2, and the average being 1.056. Uh, I would say that this is a very significant increase in latency, and our averages are super low, and that's really all we can do. Our test, as you can see on our stock OS, our our average FPS was 308. Our 1% lows were 209, and our 0.1% lows were 140. Now, our average FPS being 308, obviously that's more than most of your monitors. So, what we want to focus on now is our 1% and 0.1% lows. So now if we looked at our Risen Tweaks OS after using the Extreme Panel, our average FPS went up about 30, being 336.9, almost 337. But our... <clears throat> Our 1% lows went up over 30, being 240.6 now, and then our 0.1% lows also went up 40, being 180. Now you might not be thinking that this is a lot of FPS increase, but these are just Windows tweaks. If you do, or if you are looking for a much better option to increase your FPS significantly, then you have to go to BIO settings, and I actually have a screenshot here. Uh, as you can see, this is another graph. So this is on a stock OS doing nothing and then simply turning XMP on and using our extreme. Now this is on a 9800X3D and a 9060XT. We got about a 20% uh, FPS increase in our average. We're at our 0.1% lows went up about 90 and our 0.1% lows went up about 70. And then if we get the advanced BIOS service, our average FPS goes up to 453. And then our 1% lows jump up again to 288. And then our 0.1% lows jump up 223. Not that much, but it's still an increase. And then if you look here, if we get advanced BIOS, CPU overclock, and extreme, our average FPS now becomes 661. 
our 1% lows are almost this are higher than our stock settings which most of you are running our 1% lows are now at 430 and then our 0.1% lows are at 292 being over almost over no over 150 more than on the stock settings which most of you guys are using so if you are looking for that much more of an increase and that big of a push then I would recommend CPU overclock and advanced BIOS but this video is just about the extreme so here are the results from this and I hope that this video would help you visualize and see how much of an increase how much of a FPS increase you can be expecting with it with extreme which I would say is one of the is the best utility on the market right now from our previous videos if you would like to see this again please leave a comment and also if you'd like to see a specific panel be used please leave a comment on that but that is it for our stock OS versus extreme please remember both graphs I have just showed you but I will see you in the next video Make sure to use code HYDRA at checkout at risentweaks.com to save 15% off all products.